Hi guys, I'm Emily Sedona. Welcome to my channel. We're gonna do the long-awaited skincare routine today, and I'm also gonna do my makeup, so we'll just do a whole get ready for the day with me. I just washed my hair, and honestly, like, washing my hair is my least favorite thing in the world. I probably do it once a week, once every six days if I have to. Typically I use Fanola Purple Shampoo, but I didn't just because I'm about to touch up my roots and sometimes it'll make my roots super yellow. I got this at TJ Maxx. It's just Giovanni Frizz Be Gone. And I do two pumps and I separate my hair. Hi besties, I did just see that there is a bad word in the piece of art that's hanging up behind me. So if you're a kid, go away. I just use my wet brush to brush through my hair. I know I'm supposed to use a comb. Uh, I don't. I don't know if you can see, but I did just get my stomach tattooed. I feel tough. I have another tattoo today um, in Boston by Lena Sue, Tattoo Sue on Instagram. She's so good. Um, and she sent me this drawing that she did last night and she was like, I thought of you. So I'm gonna get, instead of what I was going to get today, I'm going to get what she painted last night. And I'm so excited, it looks so cool. Everybody knows how obsessed with this I am. Rada Rosehip Oil from Amazon. You guys know I always put it on my face, but now I like do, I don't know if you can see that, like a little palm full. Maybe a little more. And then run it through the ends of my hair. Obviously, because I bleach it, my hair is so dry. You could use this as an oil treatment, I think, if you wanted to, but I just use it to style my hair. I used to blow dry my hair a lot, but especially now and when I'm on the road, like, because it's so bleached and overprocessed, it doesn't need any more heat damage than it already has. So I usually just let it air dry. Now we're gonna do skincare. So I start off with this Paula's Choice 2% uh, AHA BHA liquid exfoliant. And I'm lazy. Maybe this is just something that I picked up from living in my car and not wanting to waste cotton pads, but I do just be rubbing that stuff on my face. This is the only product that I put on my face that's like super expensive. Um, I tried it as a sample size from my Botox lady and I fell in love with it. Otherwise, I would not be buying a $100 eye cream, but I can tell you that I am obsessed with this. The Lumiere Firm Riche, Rich? I don't know. Anyway, magic, absolutely magic. I am starting to get fine lines underneath my eyes because I'm 25 and I did not used to wear sunscreen. So you just do a tiny little bit. And I'll see if you can see. Pat that under my eye, a little bit on my lid. I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but let me tell you, you can feel this. As soon as you put it on your face, you can feel it working. It's just like a little, <laughs> get rid of all that puff. Well, Ada Skin Food. I'll link everything below. This is the original one. Um, I literally am a lizard. I am a dry bitch. So I put this on. And this you kind of need to like melt into your skin. First I pat. Gently rub. Also, I normally don't have eyebrows, so I did just tint my eyebrows. Please excuse my <laughs> sketchy packaging. Uh, this is the tint kit by Godfrey, I think, Godfrey. I'll link that below too, but I just do it every couple weeks just so I have something to work with because I just like to use like a brow mascara, so. This is the face wash that I use. It's the Pacifica Glow Baby, so I use this in the shower. So after my moisturizer, I'm gonna go back in with my favorite thing in the entire world, the Rada Rose Hip Oil. And I'm just gonna do like a couple drops, like maybe that much. Um, some days I like to look like an oil slick, but not today. And then I just tap that 
into my skin. I don't want to get it too far underneath my eye because my mascara will run into it throughout the day, but honestly, if that happens, I don't care. But if you do care, don't get it under your eye. I use this V-Derm Beauty Sunscreen. It's SPF 50. I just like it because it doesn't have a bunch of like weird ingredients in it. And I got this from a chemical peel that I had done on my face back in August. So I like to use this one. Before that though, I was using this Neutrogena Sheer Zinc Face one. Um, literally just get it at a drugstore. It does have a white cast though, so just be careful with that. I'm kind of on the hunt for a new one once I run out of this little guy that I have. But I just tap that into my skin. And this is the final skincare product before I go into my makeup. I used to do really heavy makeup, obviously, like working at the strip club and stuff, like big lashes, lots of foundation, glitter. I still really like glitter, but obviously now, like I wear as little makeup as possible. If I'm feeling fancy, I will use this e.l.f. illuminating primer. Rubbing that all over my face. No foundation. We're just gonna use concealer. This NYX HD Studio Photogenic. Do you want colors? 3.5? <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna help anybody. Like how are you supposed to tell in real life like what shade my skincare actually is? So just here. I have a little breakout right there. I also have a little bruise. Um, I got my lips filled a couple days ago. Just evened out, not like any filler added for volume. It was just because I had a botched lip job and it was dissolving funky and I really was scared to like have it dissolved with the injection that they do. So she just added it to even it out, which I was very thankful for. And they look so much better, I love them. Little bit here. Usually I blend out with my finger, um, but I've been using just this little damp beauty blender. We just blend that all out. Now that I blended that all out, I use this Airspun Loose Face Powder. I get it at Walmart. Everyone at my old club used to call it old lady powder or grandma powder because it smells like an old lady. There's definitely a scent to it. Um, but it's just loose, but it's a damn mess. But and then I take my microfiber beauty blender, key points if it's disgusting like mine, and I just kind of dab it, get under here. Okay, and I, this is not a professional baking job, but so I've just heavily powdered like my T-zone and underneath my eyes and I'm just gonna let that sit while I just brush um, my brow mascara on which again this is an elf one it says wow brow it's like a medium brown and I'm almost out so it's probably going to do nothing um but I just like kind of brush along here um and again this is why i tint my eyebrows because i just don't have time to deal with brows and i used to be victim to anastasia beverly hills dip brow back in like 2014 through 16 so i've undergone a lot of trauma from that <laughs> so now i just like to do as little as possible brows are done are they perfect no but neither am i so gonna take this big fluffy brush and just brush on the powder off and kind of like, I don't powder like my cheeks or anything like that or the top of my forehead. So when I'm brushing away the excess powder, I kind of just blend it out to there. Subtle Beauty sent me these really cute little stacks. Um, this one has like bronzer, lip, cheek, concealer, shine control, but this one is the one that I'm obsessed with. So it's a stack of five lip and cheek colors and they twist open so that like, it's just one container with all your lip things. The top has like a little mirror. Um, my go-to is this one here, and I believe the color is mauve. Just take my finger and then I tap like this. 
and I like to get so that I see that I have the same amount on both sides. And then a little bit on my nose, which I'll bring down the bridge of my nose. I really like the look of sun-kissed or that I've been out in the sun, which is funny because I'm so afraid of wrinkles that I won't go out in the sun, but I did have faux freckles. I don't know if you can see, but I did have faux freckles tattooed on a couple months ago and oh my God, I'm obsessed with them. And then I put on blush every day to make it look like I have a little bit of a sunburn. <laughs> we are nice and sunburned and then I do go back in just for a little bit of color. I did my mascara off camera, but it's the Maybelline Colossal Lash in Glam Black. And I just did it on my top lashes and I did two coats. A little spray of my perfume, which is this Alt Perfume Crystal Number no. 23. It's supposed to smell like Baccarat Rouge. I've never smelled that before, but I love this. And it's always sold out. The last thing that I'm going to do is my deodorant. So I use this little Crystal Rock. It's a salt rock. We're gonna dampen our pit. Now I want you to briefly imagine me doing this in a gas station bathroom every morning on my road trip. Because I do. I'm queen of bird bathing. So you wet your pits. It works better if you wet the pits rather than wet the rock. And you just liberally rub. And I just found that it's really helped with them. Um, I get really bad like razor bumps and stuff and I don't get any more rashes. So obviously I'm gonna use whatever helps with that. And I swear by this and I don't stink. As long as you wash your armpits with soap and water every morning that you're using it, you won't stink, I promise. And I keep it in this little pouch. Okay, that's my full skincare and makeup routine. As for my hair, I'm gonna let this air dry. Day two and day three are always my favorite hair days and I sleep every night with it in a low braid. That's not too tight, but not too loose. And then I have kind of like a nice little wavy texture and then I won't wash it again, hopefully for at least another week. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love you so much.